Hey, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Feast of Tabernacles. You know, I hope you out there, you know, out there, you know, in your tents, you know, grilling, you know, in righteousness, doing what the Most High, you know, command us to do through the Spirit. But it's just a quick video, you know what I'm saying, where I'm finna bring out quick little video really going into prophecy and the proof that the Bible is real. Because you have all the other books like the Quran, you have the uh the Book of Mormon, all the other books, the book of uh Adam, you know what I'm saying, the book of John. Not the books that's in the Bible, but you know what I'm saying? A man wrote the book of John, you know what I'm saying? But not when I'm saying let me get let me clear this up. Kind of people are like, what the hell? The book of John, it's an actual book called the Book of Adam. You know what I'm saying? The book of John, but I don't, I'm not talking about the book of John that's in the scriptures. You have actually, you know, it's a newer book that they wrote out, you know what I'm saying, with their own little story to it, right? You have books like that, but those books are not giving you prophecy. And I'm going to show you a prophecy that's coming to pass right now, you know what I'm saying? And it's happening right now as we speak, and I got proof, and it's the proof to show you that the scriptures are indeed real. The scriptures are alive. Prophecies and stuff that's in these scriptures are coming to pass as we speak. We know we don't have the uh, we don't have a lot of time to, to get right. So if you know that you're Israelite, you know this your spirit bearing witness. Get yourself right right now because this is happening right now as we speak, and this is proof that the Bible is indeed real, right? So this is the book of Revelation, chapter sixteen, verse twelve, right? And it says, um. And the sixth angel poured out his vial, so like if I said vial, on the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up. So, the, so it basically the scripture saying the river of Euphrates, you know, it was it was dried up. You know, what I'm saying this is John. You know, what I'm saying John really seeing all this stuff, right? So we know that prophecy was spoken thousands and thousands of years ago. So now we know it's going to come to pass, you know, in these days, right? So I'm going to show you that the river of Euphrates that was spoken about in Revelations is actually drying up. And this is to show you that we're living through these, we live in the book of Revelation, we're living through these prophecies, bro. Second Ezra, uh, chapter 15, ch no, 13, I mean, ch second Ezra, chapter 14, 15, you know what I'm saying? We're living through all these, these, Matthew 24, we're going to start living through all these uh, prophecies. And we're already going through some right now as we speak, it's going to continue to build up, right? So, I'm going to show you. So the, so the river Euphrates is going to be dried up, says the Bible. Check this out. Boom. Euphrates River drying up. Tucked it in. You know, it's, it's starting to dry up, you know. Desert drying. Euphrates threatens disaster in Syria. River Euphrates is Syria drying up. You can see the river drying up, man. You can see in the river, you can see the river drying up. And this was in the Bible. This is in the book of Revelations. You feel what I'm saying? This is in the book of Revelation that the river is going to be drying up. And if you see that movie 2012, if you seen that movie 2012 on Netflix, it was a river that was, you know, the dude said, you know, him and his wife used to go out there when they were younger, used to go out there and swim and stuff like that. But the river was dried up. The government had it cut off, you feel what I'm saying, because it was drying up. And we know that they get this from the Bible because, look, they got the Euphrates drying up. This is, as we speak, the, uh, the, the river of Euphrates is drying up right now as we speak. So we know that the Bible is indeed real, man. And this ain't even the only prophecy that's, you know, that we can prove. You know, because the Quran, you, people say they believe in the Quran, but you ask, um, you ask them what uh what prophecy did Muhammad prophesy and it came to pass? They say nothing, nothing. But we got some scriptures to prove. It's oh come come. We got the, we got some scriptures to prove indeed that the Bible is real about you know prophecies like this that's coming to pass. You know, so I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. I say Shalom.